Hello, my name is Professor Andrew Young, and today we'll be discussing how to create a rocking thesis statement in three easy steps. So let's get into it. What is a thesis statement? There are generally three parts to a great thesis statement. Part one, the subject. The subject is what you want to write about. Be sure to understand the assignments requirements in the audience. That will help determine the subject and how specific you need to make the subject. For the sake of discussion, let's say you're writing an essay and your professor has asked you to write a three to five page paper on a topic of your choice. Where do you begin? What should it be about? Let's do some brainstorming. So what are you passionate about? What sings to you? Is there an issue that concerns you? How about a subject that you love? Let's say after some noodling, you wrote the word sports. Okay, sports, great. I love sports too but it's way too broad. There are entire books written about a single issue within a specific sport. So let's narrow it down some more. What kind of sports? Baseball, basketball, football, soccer. Let's say you decide on football. Okay, great, football. We're getting a bit more specific, still too broad. What about football? Are you interested in the NFL, college, high school? Let's say after some more brainstorming, you arrive at the National Football League, the NFL. Okay, great but you're too broad. We need to think of something more specific. What about the NFL? Is there a team? Is there an issue? Is there a controversy within the NFL? Let's say after much consideration, you decide on the Jacksonville Jaguars football team. Okay, great. Now we have a more specific subject. It's fairly limited for a five page argumentative essay. Now we're ready for part two, the position. This is the fun part. This is your opinion about this subject. This is what you want to argue and assert, something that is debatable, something that justifies a discussion. This is where you sound your barbaric yelp over the roofs of the world, as Walt Whitman once said. In order to develop part two, the position, it's important to create a question about the subject. So let's put that brainstorming hat back on. What interests you about the Jacksonville Jaguars football team this year? What fascinates you about them? After some brainstorming, let's let's say you arrive at this question. Will the Jacksonville Jaguars win the Super Bowl this year? Boom. Great question. Your answer to that question will develop the position of your thesis, the argument. Before you answer the question, you really need to reflect on it. Perhaps you want to research the Jaguars' record, their players, their coaches, their offense and defensive plays, their competition. Get your finger on the pulse. So what do you think? After some brainstorming, let's say you arrive at this position. Although they finished last year's NFL season with an average record, the Jacksonville Jaguars are poised to win this year's Super Bowl. So what you have is a solid subject, the Jacksonville Jaguars, and a position. They're poised to win this year's Super Bowl. They're going to win it. But you're not done yet. There's one final part the blueprint. Readers like to know the reasons why for your position. How exactly will you defend this position of the Jaguars winning the Super Bowl? What are the reasons? That's where the blueprint comes into play. No pun intended. So how do you develop the blueprint? The key is to turn your position into a question. Why will the Jacksonville Jaguars win the Super Bowl? Generally, this blueprint takes the form of three strong points, but not always. Some blueprints can be just one point, or two points, or many, many points. So what are the strongest reasons? Why will the Jacksonville Jaguars win the Super Bowl? After some more thought and writing, let's say you think that the Jags' greatest strength this year are their seasoned leadership, dynamic offensive schemes, and talented defensive players. Okay, great. Now add everything together. Subject plus position plus blueprint. Although they finished last year's NFL season with an average record, the Jacksonville Jaguars are poised to win this year's Super Bowl because of their seasoned leadership, dynamic offensive schemes, and talented defensive players. Wow, now that is a rockin' thesis statement. Subject plus position plus blueprint makes a solid thesis. And the body of the essay, okay, so the body paragraphs will set out to defend 
this thesis statement, specifically those three points, the, the blueprint you've created. Here's one more final thought about thesis statements. Okay, they are everywhere, but not all thesis statements are created equally. So the next time you're on the brink of arguing or convincing or negotiating or persuading, take a step back, brainstorm some ideas, and remember that the subject plus the position plus the blueprint will be your key to success. And that was Professor Young's lesson on thesis statements. As always, keep on writing and asking questions.